Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make this intro right here, requested by Donrax. Really simple. You see it, mm, you don't see it everywhere, but it's kind of heavily used. Just, you know, and there'll be two parts to this tutorial. The sound editing and the, um, this part, the creating it. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to go to general, full render, output. 1280 by 720 and you want to do all frames all frames yeah all frames and you want to go save save it wherever you want to save it and just blah, save it in here and save it as a AVI well that's what I do but I think it's the best. So yeah. All right. So that's, that's all you have to do for that. And then what you want to do is you want to create a plane. Drag it up a little bit, and you want to rotate. Hold Shift. Snap five degrees. And then there you go. And you kind of want to rotate your camera like this. So let's like so. And then you want to. Create a new material by double clicking, double click on that, go to texture, load image, and then you want to load your um, your background. You can just get any random background for this one, it's really cool looking. And then you want to go check bump and then load the same exact image you just loaded. This creates it, I mean it makes it look more like a environmental area all right so then you go to plane drag it down a little bit so it like fits your screen perfectly like that render that out real quick see it'll look like that all right and then what you want to do is you want to um, make your mo text um, middle click and drag it out a little bit drag it out a little bit like that and then just choose your font obviously Batman forever just drag it out to what you think looks good what I do is I add a cap a lay cap uh, I just think it look looks a little better and, I, and then you want to add your go to shader Nuki or oh, you don't have to do this but I want mine to look this makes it look a little more like glossy and just looks way better to me. Do that and drag it out on there. Ah, I mean that. So it's like that. I know it doesn't look like the when I showed you a little bit, but this is just a tutorial, so yeah, that actually looks a little better. All right, so like that, and then I'll start keyframing. So you want to do what you want to do is you want to first make sure this is on how many seconds you want. I have it on 30 frames per second. So if I put 120, that means it'd be four seconds long. You just divide that by 30. And yeah, let's see, there you go. 100. I mean, four seconds long. And then what you want to do is uh, middle click here and drag this out. To where you can't see it anymore and hold on just make sure that looks fine all right let's zoom in a little bit all right and then zoom out on here so you can see it and then what you want to do is click this over here that'll make it editable like each um separate one's editable editable okay so then what you want to do is when it's on zero Press this button right here, it'll keyframe it. And then move it to wherever you want the um how long it to take. Like I like five frames. And then drag that till you see it's like right on the plane like that. So it looks like it's making contact to it. And keyframe again. See what that did? It made it that line right there. So when you play this, it slams right there. All right, so as you see right here, it ended on five frames. 
So what you want to do is you want to go over to your E, and if it's ended on 5 frames, I, I like to put it 2 frames before it ended so it looks like it's starting to come right while this is still going. So right there you want to put a um, keyframe, and then drag it up to 5 seconds after 3, which is 8 frames. And, and make it like lined up to it, keyframe it again. So now it has some um, on middle mouse click. So now, boom, see that? Looking pretty nice. You can speed it all, speed it up a little bit. That looks kind of, I don't know, a little slow, but yeah. Alright, so then that ended on 8 seconds last time, I think. Yeah, so you go here. 8 seconds, so then I'm going to drag it up to 6 seconds. I'm going to keyframe it. And then 5 seconds after 6 is 11, so drag this out. Like that. I'm not sure not really that lined up. Yeah, when you do that, you should hold shift because it snaps it more. And it, uh, I don't know, it just looks better, but I'm kind of rushing here. Alright, so, see, it's looking pretty nice so far. Alright, so then, finally, you want to go to T, do the exact same thing. Whenever, two frames before this hits the wall, right there, which is nine. Keyframe it. And you know, you can play around with this however you want. This is just how I like it. This is basically how you keyframe and what you do. It's pretty simple. You can learn this. Learn really easily. Alright, so then keyframe it. And there, you got your basic boom, 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 boom. And then you have your thump sound. So, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. I'm gonna render it out in part two. It'll show you how to add that sound effect to it. And yeah, alright, stay tuned for more. Bye.